Hello Sagittarius and welcome to your weekly coffee cup reading for August 8th. Um, I do want to mention that um, it doesn't exactly mean it starts August 8th. It's just I do them week to week and just put a, a date on it. But um, they, these energies that um, messages that you see in the coffee cup can just start now already started they just i just read them week to week so let's just do it that way so i just wanted to mention that they're a little bit more different than cards they and they speak like you know just it's just different ways that it does speak and the personal readings are just so detailed and um i absolutely love it um when it's one-on-one -on -one. but um anyway and remember this is for every sagittarius out there so these things can apply or in different ways or things around you um, you know, so you know what I mean. Anyway, let's see what it's showing for for you this week, Sag. Right off the bat, I'm going to say again, it's a little bit yellow, and there's scattered energies around you. Um, this is for some of you. There's a group of people. You could be at a religious convention, um, spiritual, or some kind of group because there's a cross on there, or they could be there's someone that um, is ill and you're worried about and people are grouping around that person. Again, they could I, it could be a spiritual or a religious belief that you um, have come across that's interest, an interest to you, or you are changing your beliefs because there are wings here too. So there's some kind of uh, um, abandonment of beliefs too at the same time it could be this doesn't mean it's you of course this is just something that's showing up uh you could be uh, around people like this or you you could be having thoughts of this but again there's a lot of thoughts going on and some scattered energy here one two three four five i mean you've got a lot of thoughts and at the same time what it's telling me with this hat ring almost all around is uh, I don't know if you do the law of attraction. I should be doing a video on that soon. Give me some time. I'm trying to get everything together because I always practice the law of attraction. But if you do and you know um, how to do it and you are spiritually evolved and you're constantly evolving because there's no such... Um, you Spiritually, you need to... You're constantly evolving. There's no such thing as um, I'm on a top level, you know, um, unless you're a spiritual guide, you know, <laughs> and we'll get into that. But if you do... I would practice it and I would, um, you know, the, the wishes you have again, there's, um, remember always be careful what you wish for. So be very careful and specific what you wish for, because there's that energy that, you know, the universe is opening up and listening. And that again could show me karmic energy. So remember what you put out is what you receive too. So, you know, what goes around comes around too. So, and there may be karma here. Um, sometimes karma comes in forms just to teach us lessons because we have been stagnant in our life or stubborn or whatever area it is. So, um, and then there is, you know, bad karma, good karma, but we all go through them. This is a karmic year. So, but I'm seeing this a lot in your cup here. Also, there is, um, there's lots of news coming in, you know, you're hearing things or these are the little messages to yourself. Some are pleasant, some are not. It all depends on who you are and what you want to hear. Um, there's a sense of uh, stubbornness that you just want to hear what you want to hear, but um, the reality is a different story. So uh, let's see. There could be thoughts of people in your past um, they're dominating your thoughts for some reason, or they're all thinking of you. Um, you know, I, let's see, is this a, huh, yeah, yeah, people from the past. Mm, yeah, you may have even karma with some people in the past, meaning there's things that need to be settled. Some of you could be already, um, Either you're working and traveling on the job a lot and it's been a little strenuous or you are on vacation or you're just uh, on a road trip because it's like you're almost everywhere. There's a lot of scattered energy, so this is all possible too. Some of you could be worried about... Actually, I you need a personal reading. You guys, there's um, different energies here. It's amazing. It's almost like saying you need to slow down a little. Um, very scattered, very scattered energy. Um, let's see what we have here. Yeah, so there's maybe people in your past, they're in your thoughts of that, or you may be already starting to 
contact people from your past yourself or they're contacting you. But at the same time, um, these could be exes, these could be friends, frenemies, or people you haven't seen in a while. That's what's showing up. Then there's, I mean, there's like a crossroads here too. There's going to be a point where you're going to be at a crossroads at in, in, in something in your life, something that either you just been ritual about and you never changed and there just may be some epiphanies or you're just going to have to fix some things and say this no longer works for me. Things like that, you know. Oh, uh, let's see here. Most of the signs are just showing cups that are not so specific this week because it's a lot of um, people are more worried about work or focused on work, a lot of changes, unexpected changes, and it's more very internal um, energies that are showing up. So let's see here. There's some clouds here. There's some daydreaming or some wishes. Um, like I said, I would try to um, and be careful what you wish for, but, you know, do the law of attraction. And let's see here. Do I see anything more specific? Because in general readings, I don't even sometimes want to mention some stuff because it's just, you know, it's that's for personal reading. And there's some, um, again, you could be a little bit moody, but it's an up and down thing. I think I saw that last week with you guys, but it's just more um, scattered this week you know you could um your temper could fly and then you could just come down last week you seem to be a little bit moody worried um feeling the end of the world's coming and then the next day you're fine again i see it similar but not as moody that way more you're more hyper more um you know so i'd watch my temper here and there but that's all i see and very specific so much talk in that the how you know the home and that there's a little bit you know, some of you, you are maybe unhappy about the home uh meaning needing to move wanting to move um you know or there's just maybe even some arguments again because there's you know if you live alone that just could be just you arguing with yourself <laughs> no it could be internal and you know things or thoughts or people that you know so that's what I see in the cup for the Sagis, the outside, nothing much. It's all about you. <laughs> and let's see what's on the plate. Well, Sag, nothing really striking. I would almost dismiss this, but there is, let's see. There is something new or an idea that um, will come to you. It's not in yet, but it there could be that epiphany moment. In the cup is a little bit watery. So there's a tad bit of, yeah, you know, scattered energy. And, and again, I don't, I none of that is really significant. So I would have almost dismissed this plate. So that is your reading for the week of August 8th. And I um, so hope to see you next week for the um, next cup, your next coffee cup reading. Please like, share, and subscribe. And have a great week, Sagittarius. Bye.